aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today I'm going to be doing a review video that you guys requested that I do. I wasn't planning on doing it only because of the entire situation, which I'll explain to you in a bit, but this is going to be a review and swatch video on the new Lorac Mega Pro palette. If you guys have been following the hype on this palette, you guys probably know the situation that I'm talking about. And that is that it really isn't available anymore. Um, unfortunately, if you guys want to get it, you may have to stock Amazon. Um, it only released two places initially, and that was LorocCosmetics.com and Amazon. Lorac online website sold out within the day, and Amazon sold out within the hour. But as far as I know, Amazon is getting continuous shipments of this palette, so it's kind of going in and out of stock on Amazon quite often. So if you guys want this product, you probably want to be stocking Amazon.com like 24-7. So excluding the availability of this product, lots of you guys wanted to see a review on this after I Instagrammed a picture on it and kind of put in the description that I wasn't sure if I was gonna do a review because it's not really available anymore and so many of you guys said can you just do like a quick swatch video and just tell us your thoughts on it so I figured I'd just do that for you guys this isn't gonna be a really long in-depth video but I will show you guys all the swatches and give you guys just a quick overview on what I think of it as for the palette itself it is made out of the same material as the original two Lorac Pro palettes this is the Lorac Pro 2 and if you guys compare the size you can see it is the same length across and the Mega Pro is exactly pretty much exactly double the height it's pretty much the same thickness as well so I like that this palette is really thin it's nice and compact especially for the number of shadows you are getting inside because you are getting 32 really really beautiful eyeshadows you're also getting a full-size mirror here at the top which is also really nice but we're just gonna jump right into the shadows because like I said I don't want this video to be too long the original two pro palettes were known for having one row of matte shadows and one row of shimmery shadows and likewise in this mega pro palette since you are getting four different rows of shadows the top two rows are matte and the bottom two rows are shimmery so showing you guys just an up close view of all of the shadows you are getting in this palette I have to say and I do think I'm gonna get yelled at for saying this but I'm just gonna put my own opinion out there this is my opinion I think this palette is quite redundant and the reason I'm saying that is because if you guys can just look at the palette and just kind of split it in half like look at this half of the palette and then look at this half of the palette i feel like this entire half of the palette here is all the same all of the shadows just look really really similar to one another honestly it just kind of like all of these browns here at least these three here just muddy together even these three browns up here kind of muddy together these two shimmer colors here look exactly the same these two colors here look the same i don't know if it's just me i'm just not completely impressed by the color range now i know that the first two like the original two Lorac pro palettes are neutral colors and i was kind of expecting it to be pretty similar to those but I have to say if they were gonna do a huge palette like this I feel like they could have varied the colors more that's just my opinion I'm not sure that I'm completely convinced on the you know the fact that you're getting double the amount of eyeshadows that you are in one of the original pro palettes because I feel like a lot of the colors are overlapping before I talk about the textures and formulation on these shadows I'm just gonna get into an individual swatch on this entire palette I'm just gonna be doing it in rows across for you guys so you guys can just get an overall picture on what the colors look like so first off we are going to start with this top row first off we have cream which is just a light matte cream color then we have fawn which is just a little bit darker than cream it's kind of a light matte nude color then we have camel which is a medium warm nude color then we have sepia which is a little bit more red than camel, but it's also kind of a medium warm matte color. 
Then we have Dusty Plum, which is a medium dusty plum color. Then we have Orchid, which is a light pinkish purple matte color. Then we have Mulberry, which is a gorgeous dark burgundy red matte color. And then we have Espresso, which is just a dark matte brown. Now we are going to go to the second row. Firstly, we have White, which is just a very, very bright matte white. Then we have Khaki, which is a very, very light, slightly cool toned brown. Then we have Brown, which is just a very true neutral medium brown. Then we have Stone, which is kind of like a medium purpley matte brown. Then we have Lilac, which is a very, very, very light matte purple. Then we have Wisteria, which is a medium dusty matte purple. Then we have gray, which is just a true medium gray color. And then we have a black, which isn't the darkest black out there, but it does deliver enough pigment and it's just a matte black. Now for the third row in the palette. Firstly, we have opal, which is just a really, really beautiful duochrome yellowish gold. Then we have sand, which is another really gorgeous, super metallic champagne. Then we have copper, which is a gorgeous medium metallic copper. Sienna is a reddish metallic copper. Then we have apricot, which is a slightly shimmery, um, almost like a rose gold. Blush is a light metallic pink. Then we have Merlot, which is a really, really pretty metallic cranberry. And then Indigo is a matte black base with purple and blue glitter in it. And finishing it up with the fourth row. First off, we have Vanilla, which is a very, very shimmery, frosty, light beige. Then we have Cashmere, which is really similar to Vanilla. It's just a little bit darker. Smoky Topaz is a gorgeous, really metallic medium brown. Then we have Dusty Rose, which is a slightly metallic, almost like a pinky brown. Granite is a metallic dark chocolate color. Maroon is kind of similar to granite. It's um, just a little bit lighter and a little bit more red toned of a brown. Then we have Deep Teal, which is just a dark metallic teal color. And then Caviar is a slightly metallic deep charcoal gray. So as you guys can tell, the palette swatches beautifully. I can't really say anything negative about the formula. It is very, very, very soft, creamy, blendable, very reminiscent of the first two Lorac Pro palettes. So if you have the original one or the Lorac Pro 2 and you like those, you will absolutely like these. The formula is pretty much identical. This palette does retail for $59, and I think for $59, it is a great value. You are getting 36 beautiful colors. Um, like I mentioned earlier in the video, while a lot of the colors are pretty similar to one another, um, I still think that the amount of shadows you're getting in such a small, compact form is really, really nice. Love the exterior color. This is one of my favorite favorite colors, especially around the holiday time. I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick review video. Let me know what you guys think of this palette in the comments down below if you guys already have it, if you guys are stocking Amazon so you can get your little paws on it. I was really excited that I was able to get one and I will cherish this one. I do really, I do love it. Thank you guys so much for watching this review video and I will see you guys on Saturday because I do have a bonus video coming up. Even though I said I was only gonna film two videos this week, I figured you guys wouldn't mind if I put a bonus video up on Saturday. So I will see you guys then. Bye. The Bon Voyage gift set comes in a gorgeous makeup bag. And I'm not gonna lie, first off, look at the bags. MAC released glittery makeup bag.